Hello beautiful people, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you're watching this video series from. Today we're going to see how we can prepare our Active Directory for Exchange installation. This is the first video of the series installing Exchange Server 2019 lab. So we're going to have a lot coming up after this series, but you know, we're going to take this like one step after the other. If this is going to be your first time, I will recommend you, if you do have any question, please put it down in the comment section below and I will follow up with you to assist you with your own lab also. So now let's get started. What are we going to do <laughs> every time we we navigate to our Microsoft documentation to see what are the prerequisites? What do we need? What kind of a software do we need to have on our Windows Server in order to continue with this um, installation for the extent server? Uh, if you look here, I'm already on my domain controller how do we know that is the domain controller is where you go here and you can see that i have uh, users and also it's an active directory user like computer let me show you if we are not on our domain controller you will find that that is a difference between here because i don't have the users and computer right here so let me go back to my domain controller so before this video, I've actually created a super user that we're going to be using for this installation. And the super user is called lab admin. Actually, I make this super user to be a member of my administrator group, domain admin, enterprise admin, and schema admin. This is very, very important. I mean, if you wanted to, if you have some time, you might want to look at a this information about plan and deploy and um, all these requirements, especially you come here in the Active Directory site and you'll be able to see that this user is actually needed. So I have logged in to this server with this user. Let me show you. I can just do a CMD and I can say, Ooh, I'm high. And actually it's saying that I'm pure. So that is actually not good enough. So I'm going to log out and I'm going to log in without user, log in without user. So I come here and I wanted to sign in with that lab admin super user. So most of the time, please always make sure that you are signing into your server with the member user. So now this is actually going to give me a lot of privilege over this server and uh, we'll be able to continue with this in our preparation. So if I do CMD again and say, who am I? Immediately, you'll be, we'll be able to see that I'm not Peter anymore. And now I'm lab had me. <laughs> well, my name is, my name is Dave Peter. Okay, let's get started. So. We go here, we just type uh, exchange server 2019 prerequisites, and we wanted to see this one. And what we are interested here is that we're interested in this. So first I'm going to click on this one. Yeah, it looks it's going to download for me. I will actually pause this video during the installation so that I don't actually have you sitting down here uh, watch this <laughs> file being extracted because it might take a while. But I might, I might go ahead and just fast forward the video for you so that just in case you wanted to see all the process. So once the installation is done for this net framework, I'll be right back. All right, it looks like the installation is done. So if you're actually following along, please, you can actually pause this video and uh, the installation is nothing out of the water. It's just installing the network, uh, net framework 4.8 to our domain controller. So we're going to restart. So we're going to, just going to do it right now. 
All right. Why the server is actually uh, loading back up after the restart? I wanted to mention that uh, you also need to have this Microsoft Server Exchange 2019 already downloaded in order because it's going to help us also to prepare the Active Directory for the Exchange installation. So once we have this already installed, let's go back to our let's go back to our a documentation so we wanted to make sure also this is actually installed let's see okay why is it now coming up let me click on it again okay there we go so you might want to take a look and read the details I mean for me everything is fine i just need the 64 version of this and I click on next and it's downloading for me. Let me open it really quick. So this shouldn't take a long time to be honest to install. You see, it doesn't take long. So close. Now we have successfully uh, follow this. So we click number one. We have the B also installed. You know, you wanted to take a look into this now we're going to install this. So all we have to do is copy it, open your PowerShell in the run as an admin, and just paste it right there. Enter. And there we go, it said, success, true, restart is not needed, no changes needed, and that's it. We are good. Most of the time, uh, once we actually have all these installed, with my, I do normally recommend that we should actually uh, go ahead and restart our server, but in this case, it's not needed. So what we need to do right now is to actually go back to this and mount it. So I just right click on it. You can put this anywhere, but I just right click on it and I do mount. So once I mount all this, it's going to go to my E drive, and that is all we need right now. So now that we have um we have already mounted this, so all we have to do is to open up our PowerShell, make sure that you open it as an admin. I might probably have to zoom this for you so that you can see. Since we're actually in the C directory, we wanted to navigate to the E directory. So we see D and we're gonna E, then semicolon. Where's my semicolon? Then so that will actually take us to the E drive, which is the place where we mount this. So Let's go ahead and prepare our server. And uh, during the preparation, we wanted to come here on the Active Directory is a prepare AD domain. Let me see if I actually have it right. Yes. So this is how we can actually extend our, let me see. Yeah, yeah, which actually uh, prepare the, the Active Directory schema. So. If you look here, it says you actually go to the virtual DVD drive letter, which is this one, and uh, put this in front of it. So all I have to do is just copy this and um, and go back here. Just one second. Apologies about that. I was being distracted by something. So I just go ahead and put it here and I'm going to click on enter. So what that would do is that that would just do its magic based on this documentation. So I don't think it should take a lot, but hey, it might so let's give some time so you can grab a coffee or tea and uh, let's wait for everything to finish and when it's done i will be right back
All right, that one actually finished uh, preparing our organization and the shields completed. Done. So we don't have any. Let's go ahead and check out the main controller and make sure that. Ah, look at that. We got something interesting right here. Look at that. Now we have the exchange security groups. We have a. Um, we have some stuff that we don't have before. So let's do something. Let's go to ADSI edit and check something. Please, if you don't know what you're doing, uh, this is not a place to play. So unless you really want to know. So we're going to select the configuration and to check on something just to make sure. Ah, look at that in the service. We're going to see that we have a user exchange. Look at that. You say X Lab Corporation. That is the name. So, you know, if you really wanted to dive into this, I mean, you might want to see, like, okay, what is the address list container? You know, I want to expand it and see all of them. It's up to you. And you can play around with it, but please don't mess around with it. <laughs> All right, so that is our everything it is in the preparing your preparing your organization domain of where exchange. Thank you so much for listening. In the next video, we're going to see how we can prepare a server for exchange installation. So, which is going to be our server right here. So, just like a quick recap, what do we do today? Uh, we have actually go through this documentation. It shouldn't take us a long time to finish, but trust me, the road is not always smooth. <laughs> Whenever you're actually doing your lab, you're going to get like error message that you need to fix maybe you're now using a member domain and a lot of things is going to happen so this is just like a head up for you to know uh to get yourself prepared for the for the extinct server installation i really want to thank you so much i don't want it to take much of your time anymore if you do have any question please do uh do reach out to me or leave a comment in the comment section below. Thank you and see you in my next video. Bye-bye for now.